This video is basically everything you need to get better at combat warriors as a new player. So as I previously said in this video, it's gonna be a good tutorial. It's gonna contain everything you need to know about how you can start playing the game properly, how to level up faster and stuff like that. Basically general knowledge about the game all in this video. Before the video does start though, please do make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, also join my Discord server, link is in comment. Oh by the way, if you have any questions, comment down below. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, let's go. So the first decision that will determine your whole entire life in this game is uh, your weapon path. It's like choosing between. So you can choose like the good part, path of a hero, path of a villain right away. Path of the villain <laughs> is life weapons <laughs> and path of the hero is heavy weapons. So but generally, uh, I, I suggest going for heavy weapons because uh, let me show you. So this is basically heavy weapons combined, all of them, like all of the prices. It's still expensive and takes a while. It's a lot, it's a lot or less of a struggle than uh, Hold on, look at this. You, the sponge! Essentially, what I'm trying to get at is if you want to suffer and make your life miserable, go for the light weapon path, <laughs> which is gonna come out way, way, way more total compared to the heavy weapons. So, stick to heavy weapons. All right, now in the game, uh, first, I have one big, big, big tip which is really gonna actually help you out, and that's beginner servers. So, this is uh, servers. 1 to level 15 is what it was, but now it's score locked, 1 to 0 to 1200. But essentially, you do not get kicked from these servers, from what I know. So, you could get in and stay in and farm as, for as long as you can. I generally suggest you stay in these until you're like level 30, and then you can move on to standard servers, but do not leave this server once you hit a certain level. Don't think, oh, I want to have a go bigger server, Alpha. no. Stay in this server, it's gonna make your life easier, you're gonna level it up way faster, you're not gonna have any people with chainsaws and dragon slayers whooping your ass at the start of the game. Uh, although it's possible, it's very, 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 very unlikely unless they buy the entire thing with Robux, right? But uh, essentially stay in the beginner servers, especially at the start, it's gonna save your ass pretty much. Alright, now here's a list of a few useful game passes that you might actually find very helpful at the start. Depends on what your purpose really is. Also, always vote for crossbows. That's also a crucial part. Uh, one of some of the most useful game passes that can genuinely help you out in the long run, in my opinion, the one I've used the most. Uh, first on the list, we have uh, unlimited quests, right? So essentially, you have three daily quests, and when you complete them, that's about it. You can get some, you can get some EXP, some battle pass XP, and some ether for them right you see if i i'm not sure how much robux it was but just for 50 robux you can get unlimited daily quests right guys i think that's a deal and a half if you ask me so for the, like down to like few pennies essentially you can you can get like unlimited daily quests which i think will actually speed it up especially when you oh look look, look. at least 65,000 xp to level up as a level 130 then you can imagine how fast it goes when you're a beginner and you have this game pass sprawl essentially saves your ass another game pass you i don't really suggest but it could prove it useful if you want like level up fast it's actually pretty good vanguard now vanguard's a bit more expensive like five dollars total but um, what vanguard does is it gives you double daily login reward so I guess if you're collecting ether and shit like that, it genuinely can help you out a bit. And I'm gonna give you guys some uh, combat tips. As I was saying, use a lot of baiting and uh, baiting back forward. That That's literally all you need to do pretty much to bait people. Uh, wait for them to parry, so jump around. I'll link my video actually over here. You can click up there to watch it right now. It's gonna basically go into detail about some combat tips. So if you're interested in getting more combat tips about the game, about as a beginner, I highly suggest you check that video because it goes really in depth on everything you can do as a beginner to uh, fight better. Well, in general, to fight better. So I, I suggest checking that out, guys. Alright guys, that would about nail it for this video, honestly. Uh, that's pretty much everything I can teach you. As I said, you can check out uh, additional few videos. Uh, they'll be linked in the description. It's a tips video, and that will give you another way to know how to make money faster. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you found it useful, leave a like, sub subscribe, and uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, peeps.